Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how much you should be charging brands. Now this video is obviously geared towards more smaller YouTubers, people who are just like coming up and they don't know what to charge brands because I know once you, you get like much bigger, you start having like a management team and people who handle all that for you, even though you do have a say with how much you charge. But this literally is going to be so helpful because I've been trying to look all over YouTube on videos trying to help with this type of stuff but people literally don't genuinely talk about it in detail they just like go over it and that's really it i'm making this video hopefully to help other people and hopefully more people start opening up a little bit more and trying to help other channel or has a youtube channel and doesn't know what to charge and how they can calculate their worth and if they're charging too low which most people are so if you're interested in this video make sure you stay tuned and let's begin okay so when it comes to charging brand price it's all subjective so each person can charge whatever they feel is their worth and what they want for years i swear i've been searching how much to charge brands how much to charge brands and no one's sharing any information and there's many reasons why people don't want to share it some people find that sharing finances is personal if you guys know why people think that finances they're talking about how much money they make is such a personal matter can you guys please comment down below and let me know and give me some insight another reason is that simply people just don't want to help other people grow some people feel like them helping people with the tips and tricks and the insights is going to like like hinder their success now i was watching alicia marie i think that's what what her name is i'm not subscribed to her but i was just watching like a lot of people's video and her video popped up but the reason why her video stood out the most to me is because she literally said in her video that for the longest time she never shared any of the equipment that she used to make her content for photo for her instagram for her youtube because she did not want other people to like know and use the same stuff and grow and be successful too. She's like, I admit it and I feel like that's just not logical and that's why I'm sharing this video with you. And I was like, girl, there's a lot of people like that too. So that's maybe one reason why like people don't want to share that type of stuff. The third reason why is maybe people just don't really like care to like make a video about it. It's not people's thing, right? But I'm gonna make this video because I want to help a lot of people and I needed help and there's still like re not really any video. So we're gonna talk about that. Okay, so when did I get my first sponsorship? That was when I was at 5,000 subscribers, okay? The company contacted me. I think it was AMI Clubwear. Like, they emailed me, and they were like, hey, like, we would love to work with you. Blah, 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 right? And I was, like, so excited. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm getting my first, like, cloud. Like, this is being legit. Like, I'm so excited. So, basically, when it comes to working with Brian, yeah, I was so excited, but since I was at 5,000 that time, I, like, sold myself so small. I was like... I'm at 5,000 subscribers, 60 views per video, like people are not going to watch it. So I was just like, you know what, like, I think they actually said that they wanted me, they wanted to do like an exchange, like I send you free clothes and you do a YouTube video. Now you can decide, depending on the brand, if you want to do like a free collab, like so product in exchange to a dedicated video or you'd want to charge them as well as get the product as well. Now it's based on you, but if you're trying to look as YouTube as your full time job, as your income, as a business. You can't really do trade for product. I mean, free video for a product. Sorry, if you guys hear any animals, it's because I live in the country, so you might hear goat, cow, roosters. So again, you guys can decide what you want. If you want to charge them, plus have the product, or you just want a product in exchange for a review. But you guys have to be careful. Like, if, And you guys are probably like, when do I decide when to start charging them? You can. I feel like you can start deciding when you feel like you, again, want it as a business, or you feel like that you deserve. Like, if you're even a and you have like 5,000 subscribers but your engagement and your views are really really good start charging brands good as in like you're getting over a thousand views consistently like your engagement like the comment section is really good the likes everything like that is really good and the way that you can track see like there's so much into this because there's a way that you can track like how much times people click links in your description so you can send that to you can send that to a company company and be like hey like even though I'm this small a lot of people are actually clicking the links in my description box and like 500 people click, click the link that i put even though you have 5,000 subscribers that's actually really good that's that's really good that's 500 potential customers that's 500 people interested you have that influence right but the thing is be careful with trading product for free because these companies will use you okay a lot of these companies will try and use influencers as much as they can especially if you're small if you have a small following they'll try to make you do like so much work for free like hey we'll send you like four clothing items for you to do a dedicated video uh no you're not gonna send me four items just to do a full dedicated video for free and not only that 
you're going to get free promotion and who knows maybe that video might blow up for you and you're giving them like 50,000 views 60 80 100,000 for this brand and they're they're not paying you and we have all these promotion imagine like thousands of people click the link and buy let me know what you guys think down below but again it's up to you like who cares maybe you guys wouldn't mind getting free clothes from fashion over boot plt Shein, Romwe. In exchange for a dedicated video because when I was smaller I was like oh my god I would work for Ron Mui and Fashion Nova and all those places just to get free clothes to do a product because I know in return I'll get more subscribers so that's something you guys can think about calculate yeah so once I started to take YouTube more serious and look at YouTube as a brand as a business which YouTube is it is a business I cannot do things for free doing things for free cannot buy me food when I'm hungry okay let's be real cannot buy me my dream car I cannot do all that thing so I was like now irks I'm getting all these subscribers my views are going up I need to be paid just like how you cannot come and ask me to promote your product for free and I wasn't even the one who came to contact you so another tip is work with brands that align with your brand and work with brands that you want when it's a brand that I don't really like but it kind of does align with my brand I just raise my price a little bit more so instead of charging like $700 I would charge like a thousand even though I didn't really want to do the video at least I got like a thousand dollars just to do and I'm gonna have um, a video talking about like how to like contact brands how to work with them how to get what you are worth and all that okay I'm gonna link that video so you guys can watch it but obviously I wouldn't promote products that are not great like obviously the product is good that's what I've been promoting and on my page no matter how much I'm getting paid I'm not gonna promote something that's bad because I don't want people coming back to me and be like hey like you promoted this but XYZ all the, like negative things associated with I'll feel so bad okay let's talk about money because I've been telling about tips this is a tip and money all in one video so now it's all about negotiating okay so one thing that I learned about negotiating with brands because they'll try and lowball you okay if a brand is contacting you they have the budget do not let them fool you okay they will pay bigger influencers and with the smaller influencers they'll love saying oh I don't have the budget I will love to send you the product for free so you can do a dedicated review video for right now I'm not gonna review your one product for a whole video they have budgets okay don't let them fool you okay don't let them scam you don't let them trick you okay they tricked so many people even myself which I'm gonna talk about they have the promotional they have the marketing budget okay they're just trying to see who they can play with and who they can get stuff out for free keep that in mind okay okay this one's important know your worth what did I say know your worth knowing your worth okay it's all about negotiation so you want to go higher than the actual amount that you want okay so when a brand contacts you so say if we're going to charge them, say that the actual price you want to charge them for a dedicated video is $800. What I would say is say, okay, hey, like I would love, my price is like $1,200, whatever. And if they be like, hey, we don't have the budget, but this is what we have. Usually when they like lower your price, it'll be maybe like $900 and something dollars or $800 and something dollars. So basically you're getting what you actually wanted. So always do higher than what you want. And literally, the worst they can say is no. Even with myself, sometimes I'm like, oh my god, maybe charging them like one thousand dollars is way too much, and they're good, they're just not gonna want to work with me. And I understand the want, like, oh my god, this company contacted me, and I really, really want to work with them. I really want to show people that I'm actually getting brand deals, and like I'm doing well, and I'm growing with my social media and my YouTube. But like, they're not, they, they're not paying me. Like, what do I do? I'm conflicted. This is the same with me. And sometimes I had to just say no to companies because I just can't. Like, you have to pay me. You need to pay me so always go high and then go back down so knowing your worth I hate when people suggest this like it bothers me so much and I'm gonna explain why I hate when people say go on websites to determine your worth like I think there's one called social blade I think I only went on there once because there's this youtuber I genuinely liked and I was like I wonder how much she's making like just on, on an estimation per month the what they were saying on the website was nowhere near <laughs> Is nowhere near what she's making there's nowhere near what I'm making I searched to myself I'm like I'm making 10x more than what social blade is saying that I made not only that I looked at how much they were telling me I should be charging brands I was like irks you I could never charge that little you're telling me that I should be charging $50 for one video are you mad it bothers me and I do not recommend anyone to even go on that website do not let a website tell you how much you think you're worth a website cannot tell you how much time it takes you to do the video it doesn't take into consideration products that you need to buy it doesn't take take in consideration everything that leads up to making the video yes it matters how much followers and your engagement however it doesn't take in the external thing don't use social blade look throw that in the garbage don't ever come to me about social blade or any of those websites where you think you guys know how much someone's making but you guys actually don't <laughs> yeah so this is why it's important that you know your worth okay a lot of these websites don't even like they'll say like you're making this much amount of money a month and it's like you're not even taking in the brand deals that I'm making and I remember saying like if you have like 10k followers on Instagram you should be charging like $20 
for paid posts are you mad that could never if you're trying to make youtube or social media a full-time job do not be charging people twenty dollars fifty dollars okay don't even be charging people hundred dollars you need to be up a hundred dollars and more you're supposed to be charging people so when it comes to you figuring out what should i charge these brands i want you guys to take in production costs representation fees and creator strategy fees so basically you planning the video so you need to charge for that and you need to charge for you even representing their brand so basically you getting ready in the morning putting on makeup doing yourself up everything like that and production costs you need to factor in how much it costs you turning on the lights in your room <laughs> or the lighting in your studio to make the video your camera all the equipment like maybe your voiceover stuff your backdrops and then like things you have to pay to execute the video maybe you have to go to the store and buy a few things to do the video and like imagine if you're doing a video and your stuff breaks like how will you be able to buy it back if you're not charging what you're worth once you calculate all of that you'll be able to know exactly like an estimate a range of what you would like to charge that could be in the hundreds that could be in the thousands okay so you guys are probably like girl you keep on going around how much money i should exactly charge and when i should charge again you can start charging once you know that your engagement is good and your views are good now what exactly do you charge now we're going to talk about money and i'm going to talk about like what i used to charge and like compared to now and stuff like that so basically first thing you can do is you can charge in whatever currency that you want so you can decide if you want to charge in usd in canadian dollar in England pound, British pound, I don't know what the correct term is. <laughs> when it comes to brand deals, you can be making money, okay? I feel like I make more money with brand, I know I make more money with brand deals than with YouTube AdSense because I can control what I want to charge brands. So if I, if this week I decide that I want to up my prices, I'm going to up my prices and get more money. So here's an example. So say you charge a company a thousand dollars for a dedicated video. So basically you have seven companies come to you and all seven of them want to work with you and you do one work with each one, one a day. That's seven days. Okay. So times seven days by a thousand dollars, that's $7,000 in one week and times that by three weeks. Imagine how much money you're just making from brand deals alone in a month. Okay, and that's not including AdSense, okay? So imagine if you're making like 10K a month with AdSense plus that $7,000 a week in a month. That's insane amount of money. This is why I love YouTube and I don't think I could go back to working a minimum wage job because you have that financial freedom of being the entrepreneur and saying, you know what, this is what I'm going to charge. It's either you're with it or you're not. And you guys, this is one thing I'm going to tell you guys. Don't play around with these brands. I do not play with brands. I have strict guidelines and contracts and everything they have to follow, which I'm going to share in the t working with brands video that you guys need to watch, okay? Because don't let brands take two, three months to pay you. Are you mad? That could never happen with me. And I don't work with brands who try to say, like, I'll pay you in, like, three months. No. I'm not doing the work and then you're going to pay me in three months. But that's a whole different topic. Then once they have to pay you money, let them pay you money or you're not posting any content for them. Okay. I have to tell a story time to like talk about this point. So basically there was this one time where this girl, well, we, a company emailed me and like, like I would say like 20 other people and they didn't do the, the carbon copy email. So basically where, where you hide all the people you emailed at once. They did BCC. So we saw each other and everything and the whole email thread. And, well, I responded back to the email, like, just between me and the company, not adding everyone else in. But the other girl in the email, she responded to everyone in the email. So we got to see, like, her rates. And she responded back. She was like, I think it was a hair company. And hair companies are a whole different topic that I'm going to discuss because they will literally try to scam you out. If you're black and you do hair tutorials, they will literally try and scam you out. But, and you have to be aware of them and you have to make sure you guys tell them your worth. Okay, so basically the girl responded back and she was like, hey, like, I'll work with you guys. I'll do, because they asked how much is for a dedicated video and two Instagram posts. And I have a whole separate pricing for Instagram and a whole separate pricing for YouTube. I do not combine, but like, hey, for this price, I'll give you like two Instagram posts. <laughs> To Instagram posts and a video. I don't do that. I do the whole separate pricing for each, right? So basically, she was like, hey, like, yeah, for like $100, I'll do two dedicated videos and you get like two photos. And I had to respond. I was like, girl, no. I was like, girl, no, what? And then I searched her up on YouTube. She had like, she was kind of small, but she still had a following, right? And I was like, I had to email back. I was like, girl, you better change the pricing. Don't let these companies lowball you. You're lowballing yourself. And I like helped her out. Don't ever do a video for any company, especially two videos for $100. No. Minimum, you should be charging $100 per video if you're very small, okay? So basically, yeah, if you charge so little, you're basically overworking yourself and you give your company all this promo. Some of them will try and email me and tell me how much they're going to give me and what exactly they want. I was like, that's not how it goes. You're contacting me, so I'll let you know 
what I offer and what you can afford and what we can work out together. And then one company was just like, you know, like you're charging way too much. So I searched this website and this is how much they, you should be charging. And they sent a screenshot and I was like, I was like, if you do not respect my time, energy, effort to create content and to promote your product and you're not willing to pay my price, we can't work together. Simple as that. Okay, yeah, and I already talked about companies who do selective pay. So basically, like, there'll be like one campaign. They'll decide who they want to pay in that campaign and who they can try and get free promo from. When I tell you they have budgets, stand firm and be like, this is my price. And I just want to emphasize there's nothing wrong with doing videos for products like it's just up to you what you want you can pick and choose what brand you want to promote for free oh my god <laughs> and there's some companies who try to trick you i'm going to share these type of companies with you so you guys have an idea to avoid them so basically in the email once you tell them that you're pricing they'll be like hey like we really want to just do like a test run dedicated video with you so like you do it for free, you send you the product or the clothing or whatever for free, you do the review and if we like it, we'll work with you long term and pay you. They're literally just scamming you. They're not going to work long term with you and pay you. They're just lying to you. They just want to keep your hopes up and like get the free promo and then not, never talk back to you ever again. That's basically how it is. So be aware of them. Don't fall for it. Again, if you want to still work with them and get the free product, nothing's wrong with that. And then there's some brands that like won't pay you your money at all. Like you'll do all the content, everything, and they just disappear and won't pay you. But I'll talk about that more in how to work with brands video. Brands video because I talk about how to prevent you from getting into those situations. I got you guys. I'm just gonna quickly go over template because some people are just like, okay, what? Should, how much should I charge? But what should I exactly charge them for? Only for a dedicated video? Okay, so basically you're going to need templates. So whenever companies contact you, you're gonna have the template to just send back to them. Hi, thanks for contacting me, blah, blah, blah. Here's my pricing. I have my, I have my laptop here. Okay, so basically you're gonna need to come up with a price for a dedicated sit down video. So something like this. Price for a dedicated vlog, price for a promotional, acknowledgement in a vlog a price for a promotional acknowledgement in a sit down video and a promotional acknowledgement basically is a video mention so basically you're just going to mention a product in a video or a service or experience in a video for like a few seconds to a minute you can decide how long you want your promotional acknowledgements to be and basically you can tell them what's included in these things as well you have mandatory minimums and maximums for your videos so if you're under 10k it's so hard to tell you guys exactly what to charge because it's based on again your engagement and your views okay and obviously your subscriber count but if you feel like your views are doing well and your engagement is very good as in like the comments and the likes if you're under 10k subscribers I feel like you should charge in the hundreds for like a dedicated video so say you want to do a dedicated video and you're under 10k I would say like charge like two three hundred dollars and if you want to do a video mention and you're under 10k charge like what fifty dollars eighty dollars it's up to you and oh here's a little trick whenever i charge brands i never give them an even number like i never give like oh i'm gonna charge you 900 dollars for a dedicated video i always do i'm gonna charge you 945 952 <laughs> so you guys can do that too when i was under 10k i was charging in the hundreds so i was charging like two two like 20 for a promotional acknowledgement of a few seconds dedicated videos are like 300 and something dollars but now I'm charging way more I'm charging like in the thousands basically I'm like once I'm in the hundred thousands I'm charging like high up in the thousands of dollars video mentions are like 700 and something 800 so this is with me being small like I'm not a big youtuber at all but I know that I want to make this a business and brands have the money and they have the budget and if they want to work with me I guarantee that they're going to get views especially in a vlog and engagement is going to be there because I have great subscribers that watch my things and support me and I love it so if you're over 10k this is where I would say you're on your own with that charge in the hundreds though high hundreds if you're into hundred thousands girl or boy you should be charging thousands of dollars for promo because once I hit the hundred thousands I'm charging thousands of dollars three thousand four thousand for promos and companies will pay for it don't lower your standard the worst that people can do is lowball you or say no and that's fine work with people work out a budget and see what you guys can work together to have the collaboration the promotion come to life and again it's different when you work with management I try and charge a little bit higher because you're getting me to work with big brands who have big budgets and they're getting me connected with different brands so i'm like i'm gonna charge more so i can get more money but yeah so basically that's it for today's video guys i hope you found it useful and informative I tried my best to tell you guys exact figures to help you guys out but all i know is don't lower your worth do not follow a website you guys can decide there's never too much that you can charge and there's 
There's of course too little because I don't want you guys doing two dedicated videos for $50 or $50 per dedicated video now. And if you're doing shout outs and promotional acknowledgements, charge in the hundreds. Okay guys, even in thousands depending how big you are. I want you guys to turn this into a business because YouTube can, is a business. It can be your guys 9 to 5. It can be your guys job, your everything. It can open up so many doors for you guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Au revoir.